Foodie Friday has been super, super popular and I get a lot of questions about it. So I thought today I would answer some of your regular questions I get about Foodie Friday. I started Foodie Friday because people never leave their neighborhoods. I find a lot of people get stuck in a rut. They live near a decent enough burger place, they live near this other restaurant. Okay, let's just go there, it's close, I can't be bothered. Everyone hates the age old question of what are we going to eat today? You see some of these really amazing places on Instagram and you can't always make it to Toronto or out of town to go to these places to eat. So really what I wanna do is I wanna get local people out of their small neighborhoods and into something great in town. There is way more amazing food in KW than you know about. And just to hear about these little places when you're close by or are completely stuck in a rut, you can go to Foodie Friday and kind of get an idea of where you want to eat. So I always suggest when you watch Foodie Fridays, make a quick list on your phone. And then when you have no ideas on where you want to eat, go to that list. So I still do the Foodie Fridays because I want to showcase local restaurants and great places to eat. I try my best not to showcase huge, huge chains, obviously, but I do some chains, right? Some of them are smaller Canadian chains that might be new to the area. So I definitely will do those because we've never heard of them before, but you're not gonna catch me at Montana's. Even though I worked there for years and years, you're not gonna catch me doing a Fruity Friday in my old stomping ground. I am absolutely not sponsored. I am not an influencer, okay? Let's be honest, I am a real estate agent. I know town really well. I love living here and I want other people to love living here as much as I do. So really, all I do this Foodie Friday for is to help the people find somewhere to eat and make those decisions. No, I am not sponsored. Sometimes I get free food. So if you are with a camera in a restaurant, it seems to be that restaurant owners have been conditioned to give a free dessert or a free appetizer or whatever it might be to someone filming with a camera. I absolutely do not do Foodie Friday for this reason, nor do I expect it. And sometimes I don't want it because it's like spicy food and things that I wouldn't order. So uh, no, I don't often get free food and I'm not sponsored anyway. And I really don't want the sponsorships because that's not what I'm doing it for. I'm not trying to grow a food account. I am truly a real estate agent trying to help people know where to eat and love town. Yes, if I shoot a Foodie Friday, I do like where we are eating. I have shot Foodie Fridays and not put them out when the food was not up to my expectation. Some of these places we go to, we actually eat first and shoot Foodie Friday afterwards. So you might notice that the timing of the day is a bit different than when the food was out, whatever it might happen to be. We generally only shoot Foodie Fridays in places that we like to eat or know are good or have been recommended that are good. I may not have been there before and if I haven't been there and I shoot Foodie Friday and it sucks, it's not coming out. I am not here to tell you who in town sucks as a restaurant. I'm here to tell you what is good. I'm not gonna crap on someone else's business. I run a business, they run a business, they're trying hard, but I'm not gonna put it out for all you and say it's an amazing place if it isn't. So you can trust if I have a Foodie Friday on there, I like something on their menu. Now, we are going to end up in places soon, I'm sure, that serve things I don't like. I don't do spicy food. I don't do seafood. I don't do sushi. Those kinds of things are not on my list. We may have guest people come on to Foodie Friday to do those kinds of things for food they like. And if someone else loves it, I'm sure it's a good thing. It's just not a food that I eat. But everything we've done currently, I love it. We've been there and I would eat there again. <laughs> please recommend somewhere that you like to eat. If I know you and we can get together, I might even take you out for dinner and buy dinner because honestly, the thought of the Foodie Friday can be a lot for me. I have a list of restaurants I wanna try. I can't always get to them. Sometimes we get there and the restaurant's crazy busy. It's hard to shoot a video at that point. So if you have a restaurant that you love and you know a great day to go there, Hit me up, tell me where you wanna go and we'll go out for lunch, dinner, whatever it might be and we'll showcase the place that you love too. 
the Foodie Friday is going to be changing. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that I have not been available for Foodie Friday this summer. We've basically taken the last two months off of Foodie Friday. It has been a lot to keep up with it. We have an editor who takes care of our videos for us. We've had a lot of homes come on the market. It is more important to get the home videos edited than to get the Foodie Friday edited. Foodie Friday is a passion of mine. Homes is my job. So it is more important to do the videos for the job and we're slowing down a bit on Foodie Friday. So I've taken some time off. I have a new list of places we're going to go. In October, we're going to be back with Foodie Friday, but most likely every other week instead of every week. Every week is a grind. It is tough for me. It's a lot of eating out. We're gonna try our best to do every other week and showcase places maybe for a bit longer, whatever we choose to do. They're gonna be a little bit different, I'm sure, but do expect that Foodie Fridays are going to slow down a bit. They are going to come back in October, but right now we've taken a minute to chill on Foodie Fridays for a couple of months, and we're gonna return with every other week Foodie Fridays. So you're gonna look forward to every week, because honestly, eating out every week is a lot, and I have to choose a new restaurant every time, so I don't have a lot of time to loop back to my favorite restaurants. What we might do is some retro, let's go back and see what we've done, and redo some Foodie Fridays, and try new items to some of our favorite places as well. So keep an eye out for that. We have big things coming, just not for a little while. Thank you so much for all your love for Foodie Friday. Know that I love doing it. Know that I do it for you guys and eating out is a lot. So if you have some ideas, please share them with me. And I look forward to seeing you again for more Foodie Fridays come October. Our next question comes from our friend John Jackson. He says, G'day, I love Foodie Friday. Do you actually like every place you go to? We should keep these stupid voices in. Dame Helen Mirren like to know, oh yes, I love watching Foodie Friday every week, it's delightful. Are you going to keep doing it every week though? I can't stand to be without it. 